Is that the problem? Amen. Amen. Okay. I'm just wondering if everybody forgot the time was changed. Because everybody come in at after 8 like it's 7 30. <laughs> well, praise the Lord anyway. Uh, we still give uh, the church announcement. Give a uh, special thanks for our love offering. And we continue to pray for the sick and shut in. And we thank you for your uh, continued support. And let's keep inviting family, friends, neighbors, and strangers to come to our church because it's a part of evangelism. Amen. And I see Brother Mike is on his post this morning. Thank the Lord. Uh, and then we're still in 30 days leading up to revival. Amen. And revival is 10 to March 17th which is next weekend, I think. Uh, Bishop will be giving us scriptures to start, weekly scriptures to start until we get back to Sunday school. Today is March the 12th, and it's Family and Friends Day. All right, And Amen. we have breakfast to go. Amen. All members that have concerns or ideas to help the chief of staff, she will get them to the bishop. Uh, I said this. Reverend West and Connor Stone, Reverend Mosley, Sister Orr, Sister Muriel, Sister Brian, Sister Jerry, Deacon and Sister Gordon, Bishop Wallace, Sister Katie, First Lady Wallace, Sister Drummer, uh, Reverend Singleton, the Bereed family, the Wilsons, the Woodside, and the William family. And much thanks to our cleanup crew for still cleaning, cleaning up the building every week. So we thank them for that. Uh, my poem for today is Heaven's Grocery Store. Mm. I was walking down large highway mm -hmm. a long time ago. Mm -hmm. One day I saw a sign that read Heaven's Grocery Store. Mm. As I got a little closer, the door came open wide. And when I came to myself, I was standing inside. I saw a host of angels, they were standing everywhere. One handed me a basket and said, my child, shop with care. Everything a Christian need was in the grocery store. And all you couldn't care, you could come back the next day for more. First, I got some patience. Love was in the same row. Further down was understanding, mm. and we need that everywhere we go. Yeah. I got a box or two of wisdom, a bag or two of faith. I just couldn't miss the Holy Ghost, for it was all over the place. All right. I stopped to get some strength and courage to help me run this race. Yeah. Then my basket was getting full, but I remember I needed some grace. I didn't forget salvation, but salvation that was free. So I tried to get enough of that to save both you and me. Then I started up the kind to pay my bill, for I thought I had everything to do my master's will. As I walked up the aisle, I saw prayer, and I just had to put that in. For I knew when I stepped outside, I would run right into sin. Peace and joy was plentiful. They were all, there was the last on the ship. Song and praises were hanging near, so I just helped myself. Then I said to the angels, how much do I owe? He just smiled and said, just take them everywhere you go. Again, I smiled at him and said, how much do I really owe? He smiled and said, my child Jesus paid your bill a long time ago. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, We'd like to extend a warm welcome to our businesses this morning. We praise God for those who have never been in our midst and also for those who have come back. We know that the word of God will inspire you to return and that the word will encourage you this morning. You are welcome to help praise, help praise God in spirit and in truth. Lift it up in the name of Jesus. We thank you. Please know that you are always welcome to worship with us at Cedar Grove. And that's the end of my house. Amen. Amen.
nobody like him. Nobody like Others. Yeah. I greet each of you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ.
because God has given you another day, it does not mean you have a day to waste. You cannot waste your time on stuff that don't mean nothing. You can't waste your time on people who mean you no good. You cannot waste your time doing nothing. But can you say to yourself, my time is valuable. And, and time, brothers and sisters, to anybody uh, who wants to do great things uh, in life, great things uh, in the kingdom of God, yeah. time is uh, an enemy unto you uh, simply because uh, when you want to do great things, uh, you got to understand uh, that the clock is uh, ticking. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Uh, you got to understand uh, that God, uh, in his time, uh, he does not operate uh, the way that the world uh, operates time. You got to understand uh, that God, uh, his clock does not tick and talk uh, according uh, to the world. Uh, because according uh, to the world, uh, you don't deserve to be here. Uh, according uh, to man's clock, uh, you should have been dead. Uh, you should have been sleeping uh, somewhere in your grave. Uh, according to man's uh, clock, come on here. Uh, you should have died uh, on the operating table. According uh, to man's time, uh, you shouldn't be here uh, on today, uh, but because God's uh, clock does not tick and talk the same way as man's uh, clock ticks, uh, God, uh, his time says, uh, we can may endure for a night, uh, but joy, it will come uh, in the morning. Uh, God's clock says uh, that this is uh, the day that the Lord uh, has made uh, and we shall uh, rejoice uh, and be glad in it. Uh, you got to give uh, God praise because God uh, allowed you uh, some more time. Can you take uh, about 10 seconds uh, and give God praise uh, for new life? Uh, can you take 10 seconds uh, and give God praise uh, that you're still uh, in the land of the living. Uh, can you take 10 seconds uh, and give God praise uh, because you are not under the dirt, uh, but you are on top of the dirt. Uh, can you pause uh, and give God praise uh, because the Lord uh, is still using you. Uh, can you say, Lord, uh, I thank you uh, for some more time. Uh, and that's what I like uh, about Nehemiah, uh, he gave God praise uh, because God gave him some more time. Uh, because Nehemiah, uh, he heard about Jerusalem uh, and he heard that Jerusalem uh, was in bad shape. Uh, but what I like about uh, Nehemiah uh, is the fact that Nehemiah, uh, I wish I had one witness here, uh, he was living in the palace, uh, but his people were going through problems, uh, and there are times in your life uh, when your people are going through uh, that you got to come out of the palace and see about those that you love. Uh, you got to come out of the palace. Uh, I wish I had a witness here. Uh, Y'all open this for me here. Uh, and you got to come out of the palace. Uh, and you got to be concerned uh, about somebody else. Uh, can I tell you it's time uh, for you to worry uh, about other people. Uh, it's time uh, for you to worry uh, about those that don't know God. Uh, it's time that you got to worry. You got to be concerned about those that ain't showing up for church. You got to be concerned about those who went the wrong way. You got to be concerned about those who you don't see on Sunday. You got to get on your phone. You got to inbox them. You got to email them and ask them. Is everything all right? Uh, is there anybody here? Uh, can you hear the man of God? Uh, and it ain't all about you. Uh, and that's all I'm trying to tell you. Uh, that it's time uh, for you to stop being selfish. Uh, it's time for me uh, to not worry.
worry only about myself, but when I look at you, I know how to pray for you, but what I love about Nehemiah, he left the palace because God gave him some work to do, and that's all I come to tell you, is we got work to do, is there anybody here at the Cedar Grove Baptist Church, do you know we got work to do, is there anybody here, do you know we got work to do, just elevate your hand and open up your mouth and say, Lord, we got work to do. And since we got work to do, I got three things that I need you to do. Ain't the Lord all right? And I need you to number one. You got to settle your focus. You can't be caught between who you're going to focus on. You can't focus on them who not with you. Uh, on them. Uh, I'm in the text now because uh, the Bible says uh, in verse number 19 uh, let's take some bad and to buy uh, open up your mouth uh, and say send ballot uh, and to buy uh, they was messing uh, with me a uh, ain't the Lord alright uh, but you got to be careful uh, of messing with uh, the man of God. Uh, you got to be careful uh, of messing with uh, the anointing of God. Uh, you got to be careful uh, of messing with those uh, that the hand of the Lord uh, is upon. Because uh, the Bible says, uh, when God gave Nehemiah, uh, gave them a plan, uh, in that head, uh, and here come Tobiah uh, trying uh, to mess up Nehemiah uh, but Nehemiah uh, don't worry about them uh, and I need to tell you uh, you got to stop worrying uh, about those uh, who don't mean you no good uh, stop worrying uh, about sin that head, uh, and Tobiah uh, stop worrying uh, about but keep your eyes up on the King of Kings. Keep your eyes up on the Lord of Lords. Keep your eyes up on the great I am. Is there anybody here? It's your testimony. You know what sin that it is and who Tobiah is. They don't want you to go to the next level. They don't to move on up, ain't God all right? They don't want you to do greater things, but don't you dare worry about them. Ain't God all right? You got to keep your mind stayed on the Lord. You got to keep your mind on the one that called you, on the one that carried you. And Nehemiah said that the hand of God that is upon my life. And every now and then, I got to give God praise. Because the hand of God is upon my life. You want to open your mouth and give God the glory. Because the hand of God is upon my life. Can you say yes? Say yes. Can you give God the glory? Can you give God the praise? Cause the hand of God is upon your life. They try to get you to move, but the hand of God is upon your life. They try to shake you, but the hand of God is upon your life. But they don't know because the hand of God is upon my life. Be like a tree uh, planted by the rivers of water. Uh, ain't the Lord all right? Uh, and I will not be moved. Uh, open your mouth, uh, help me close now. Uh, and say, I won't be moved uh, by what they say. Uh, I won't be moved uh, by what they do. Uh, because the hand of God uh, it is upon my life. Uh, and I need to close now. But if you're in God's hands, uh, you're in good hands. Uh, because his hands, uh, he got 
big hands. Uh, does that get him out of here? Uh, know that you serve a God. Uh, he got big hands. Uh, he will hold you. Uh, he will keep you. Uh, he will protect you. Uh, he will provide you. Uh, with those same hands. Uh, ain't the Lord all right? Uh, what do you say, a preacher? Uh, get yourself uh, in the hands of the Lord. Uh, settle uh, where your focus is going to be, uh, but you got to strengthen uh, your own faith. Uh, you got to tell, uh, sit down and uh, you got to tell to my uh, we can walk by faith uh, and not by sight. Uh, you got to tell, uh, sit down and uh, you got to tell to my uh, we come this far uh, by faith uh, and we lead at home Just uh, shall live by faith. Uh, ain't the Lord all right? Uh, can you open your mouth uh, and give God the glory? Uh, can you open your mouth uh, and give God the praise? Uh, and as I leave you now, uh, we got to be steadfast uh, with fortitude. Uh, for the Bible says, uh, be ye steadfast, uh, unmovable. Uh, Always abounding uh, in the work of the Lord. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but I'ma keep on building. Uh, I'ma keep on coming. Uh, I'ma keep on witnessing. Uh, I'ma keep on doing uh, what God called me to do. Uh, you can talk about me, uh, and I don't care. Uh, Scandalize my name. Uh, I really don't care. Uh, I'ma keep on working. Uh, if I got to do it uh, all by myself, uh, I heard David say, uh, I will bless uh, the Lord at all times, uh, and his praise uh, shall be in my mouth. Uh, let me close now. Uh, I know somebody uh, who is steadfast uh, in their fortitude. Uh, they marched him uh, up a hill called Calvary. Uh, they hung him high. They stretched him wide uh, and they dropped him low. Uh, and y'all know who I'm talking about. Uh, and you all know who I'm talking about. Uh, why don't you leap on your feet uh, and give him glory uh, and give him praise. Uh, leap on your feet uh, and lift up your hands uh, and open up your mouth. Uh, there's nobody like him. Uh, besides him, there are no others. Uh, can you say I know he's alright. Hey, I 
walking with God. Yeah. You can't you can't be blind walking with Him. Amen. Listen, I know uh, we got to get ready for our tithes and offering. We want to give some money to the Lord on today. I, I've seen God do things in small crowds. Somebody want to say amen. amen. I need you to bring us the money. Bring us the money. This is a hijack. We hijacking you today. Niagara, you hijacking today. We hijacking you today. You know what, you guys? I'm ready to do this. I was playing out. I, I, I took out my these pants I have on. I like them. I don't know why. I like these pants. Y'all say why. But I really like them because last night I got my pants out to iron them. And this was in there. All right. Amen. I ain't seen these pants in a good little while. Amen. But this hundred dollars was in there. Amen. Somebody ought to say amen. Amen. And because it was in my pocket, I'm gonna put it in God's hands. Amen. And if you can't follow me with a seed of one hundred, if you have it, please sow that seed. Please sow that seed. Amen. Please sow that seed. Thank you guys so much. Listen, it's, it's, it's a to-go breakfast for everybody that is in here. Oh, let me not forget you guys, this Friday, please, please, this Friday, churches will be here. This place will be, I'm telling you, they're going to be in here Friday. We need you here. We start at 6.30 on the dot. Deacon Williams, I need you here. Self, I need you here, okay? Deacon Anderson, Chairman, Gangster, <laughs> that's my boy. <laughs> we love him. God is good. You'll never find another Deacon Smith nowhere, ever. He is him. Amen. He is him. Good to see uh, Mel in here, man. Good to see you. You just continue to keep coming. Yeah. Come on, let's thank God for Dr. Melvin. Come on. Let's give it up for Brother Mike. Come on, y'all. Let's give it up for Brother Mike. Amen. Mike take a little time to warm up to you, but once he do, he, he'll love on you, though. And that's what I like about him. I saw some pictures. You like fishing, don't you? All right. All right. God is good. I'm going to have to look up and go get some fish <laughs> and come back and see if we can get some fish. All right. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Let's bless this offering. Let's bless this offering. Let's stand up. We gotta. We gotta move on. It's not raining. It's not nothing. We gonna have a good time today, right? Amen. Amen. Please get you some breakfast when you leave. Do not leave here without some breakfast. Can the church say amen? Amen. Let's get you some breakfast. Let's lift our hand up. How many of y'all been sleeping today? A little bit. Just a little bit. You got your dog with you. I can tell. He outside? <laughs> What's your dog's name? Milo. Naya? Milo. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let us pray. Y'all, who else got a dog? You got a dog too? I had to call one of my friends yesterday, a preacher friend of mine, and uh, Pastor Whitfield. He kept saying, sit down, lady. I said, no, you come to your wife like that. I said, no, I got me a dog. <laughs> Father, how we thank you. In the strong name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your wisdom, for your word, for worship. Making ways out of no ways. There's nobody like you besides you and no others. We ask it in Jesus' name. Let us all say amen. amen. Let us say amen again. Come on, clap your hands one more time. Let's, let's give God praise and glory. Now, if you, if those of you that have a love offering, I want you to see Bible Wilson before you leave.